happy Mardi Gras day, everyone. Even though our Mardi Gras is more celebrated in Louisiana, but I'm pretty sure Mardi Gras is also celebrated in Arkansas because they're close together and they're both in the south. So I'm pretty sure they're both like have similar cultures and stuff. So what did you eat, my non-existent Arkansasian viewer? I ate this thing called paper. It tastes pretty weird and funny, but however, it does taste like the thing that I told my teacher that my dog ate. Really weird. Okay, so let's start with Arkansas. Yes, pronounced Arkansas, not Arkansas. This has something to do with the French exploration crap. So Arkansas is definitely one of the most forgettable state of the USA compared to other other big state like Texas and like New York and California and those. With Arkansas being one of the star in the Confederacy and the Civil War, Arkansas definitely does have a bunch of attack across the civilization through the historical backgrounds. So welcome to the land of the diamond mines, bears, and also the land that if you dare to mispronounce the name, then they will freaking attack you in a string, and then they will trap you there. Or they'll just put you in jail. Both works, I guess. It's also home to one of the most iconic vines. So I am confusion. Why is this one Kansas, but this one is not Arkansas? America, explain! Explain what? FBI, open up! Now before we start the basic history, let's just talk to talk about the background and geography. Now Arkansas is the 29th biggest country, you have to know that. That will be on your geography quiz, spanning about 53,180 square miles. That's a very important knowledge that you need to know. And it is also the 33rd most populated, duh, that is common knowledge. At about 3,4276 it's a landlocked country between Missouri, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma. Its biggest and its capital is both Little Rock, basically named after how it's a diamond state. Mount Magazine is located in Arkansas. It's about 2,753 feet. The nickname of it is the Bear State, also known, formerly known as the Natural State. The motto is the Regnant Populace, and the song includes Old Arkansas and Arkansas Traveler, which if you... Yes, it is indeed my outro, if you cr check my credit. <laughs> Don't ask me why I pick a, okay, I just randomly pick a country music. A person from Arkansas is the Arkansan, and the national bird is the mockingbird, the flower is the apple blossom, and the tree is the pine tree. So let's actually get to the history before someone started to copy strike me for like clickbait or something, I don't know. So now, during the 1541, Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto became the first European settler across the Great Yearly Expedition for gold. Different from Christopher Columbus, that's different. It was soon overtaken by Henry de Tonti in 1683. So after he settled around the Fort St. Louis across the mouth of Mississippi after a failure to locate La Salle. And then he literally just left, like, get the heck out. Then the French started to come along and they briefly went to colonize this area known as La Salle after the basic claiming of Mississippi Valley for France till 1682. More and more people have started to move here in 1799, and soon in 1803, the Louisiana Purchase was being acquired by the U.S. leading to their purchase. And in 1819, Arkansas started to break up the territory through the west and the east land, for the west being a part of the Oklahoma Territory, while the east just being still Arkansas. Arkansas officially declared itself as the 25th state of the United States Union in June 15, 1836, and about 25% of the population in 1860 are slaves, with about 435,000 population. Most smaller residents there were actually lawyers and have high income source. Soon during the Civil War, Arkansas had basically seceded from the Union and started to join the Confederacy, where troops have mustered across the civilian after devotion of joining the Confederacy and basically choosing the Union instead. The 1863 Confederate government moved Arkansas across the Southwest on 1864 to the Union. Arkansas officially declared itself as the 25th state of the United States Union in June 15, 1836, and about 25% of the population in 1860 are slaves, with about 435,000 population. Most smaller residents there were actually lawyers and have high income source. Now after the Civil War, people start blaming black people, but also the Reconstruction happened and there's a bunch of Democrats started to overflow across Arkansas, causing a mess. 
Now, over the next 25 years, there were many growth and development across the recovery after the Civil War happened, and many Arkansas tried to increase leisure and create more technological stuff advancement, including electrical, energy, and literacy. The public school and numerous college were basically made through the farms, mills, factories, and a bunch of production companies, which were definitely incorporated across multiple residents. Population soon gradually increased into the 1900s, and population population have exceeded across Arkansas and, and during the 20th century Arkansas enhanced and proper oil source and farming industry as well as profitable crop. The Great Depression across World War II industry service helped increase the pop economy and the population during the Great Depression. There's definitely many World War II industry as well as many slave back across people fighting through the civil rights. But after that, they soon managed to discover the agricultural production and production economy started to gradually increase. And thus, we concluded the history of Arkansas. Beautiful slavery and crap. Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode, which is about... What is it? Oh, no. Stay tuned for California. Thanks for watching. Thank you.